These eruptions are enormous and they're regular. Fast plumes of steamer dash pumped into the skies. Guatemala is used to this. It has over 30 active volcanoes, but three are simultaneously erupting. It's happened before, sometimes with deadly consequences. This is Volcan Fuego, the volcano of fire. By night, you understand its name. Just 30 kilometers away, Pacaya is erupting as well. Molten lava flows from its crater, streaming down the sides of the volcano. Shrouded in steam, Pacaya's peak boils and bursts, a fiery warning of the potential for a huge eruption. By daybreak, the authorities allowed us to trek to the closest monitoring point near the peak. It seems far away, but it's actually very near, towering above us. The noise of the volcano's rumbling is frankly terrifying. Is it exploding? It's erupting 30 to 40 times a minute. When it gets to 80 a minute, the local experts warn a cataclysmic event is possible. It's possible to monitor and predict an eruption two or three days before, depending on the number of explosions. If there is more than an average of 80 to 100 explosions per minute, it's a warning a major eruption might be imminent. Whole communities live in the shadows of these volcanoes. The grey ash steam and cloud-filled skies hide fuego that looms over them. In 2018, hundreds died in an eruption that spewed billions of tons of water, sand and rock onto the towns below. Fuego is threatening them again. What is these communities, and there's lots of them around here, actually on the volcano, are in incredibly vulnerable uh, to the lava. It's flowed through here before and obviously from the gases that can come off a major explosion. Over 180,000 people live in these communities on the volcano, and uh, most of them simply can't afford to leave, so they'll stay. Many say they'd like to, but they just simply can't afford to, and they won't leave their homes. Even those who have lived here, their whole lives seem spooked by the increased activity. Lindy Sarlan told us how the eruptions are rocking their homes, particularly at night, when they get bigger. It explodes like a bomb. At times the windows and doors shake from the noise that it makes. So to a degree you're stuck. She said that her family can't afford to leave, and even worse, they'd be trapped by the lava anyway. She said they'd have to head for higher ground. On this side, there are two or three rivers, so when something like this happens, the lava flows into the river. When the time comes to leave, we can't because we're stuck here. There is a sense here that the communities feel abandoned. They've nowhere to run. And when these towering volcanoes explode, there is no place to hide.